I already made a fairly detailed first impressions video about the Pulsar X2 Mini Wireless, but in this video we are gonna have more comparisons, talk about the shape more in depth, talk about my aim and performances with the mouse in game, and then quickly go through some of the details in the mouse that I already covered. To not waste your time, here's a quick recap of the details. The buttons are very light, but the actuation does not feel very premium, and there is quite a bit of posture when you click the buttons from the front. They are on the verge of being too light for me, for example with some of these in-game clips I'm just trying to turn around and I accidentally actuate the clicks while lifting the mouse. This did happen to me quite many times but I did get used to them. For my preference I would want them to feel a little bit more premium and a tad bit heavier. The side buttons feel extremely good and there is pretty much no pre and post travel. The build quality is good although there is a minimal amount of side flex. And the surface finish does not feel high end or premium but it's good before me. The stock mouse feed might actually be improved from the X Lite versions because these do feel very very good on pretty much any mouse pad that I have here. Smooth and quite fast glide. Battery life also seems to be pretty much the same as previously, so it will last about one to two weeks depending on your use. The sensor is of course the 3395 and the performance is something that might have a couple of issues. I was testing motion latency against the X-Lite wireless and it seems to have more latency than the X-Lite does. It's only about one millisecond and that's something that you won't feel in real use, but it's still disappointing to see that it performs worse than the X-Lite did. Of course, this is almost certainly something that can be fixed with a firmware update. And Pulsar has fixed this now, so you don't need to worry about this with production units. One complaint I had with the X2 Mini Wireless was the price for us Europeans, so Max Gaming listed it to be 110 euros, but luckily it has now been adjusted, so it's 100 euros. And then we quickly move on to the shape, so the X2 Mini is something that can remind you from quite a few months. But it's almost surely smaller than any one of those. It is a lot smaller than the Zawi ZA13C, the Zawi S2C, and for example the Fnatic Bolt, and and in hand it's smaller than the Viper Mini, the x 5 M42 and the Gbolt's HDS. After my initial impressions video I asked you guys that which mice would you want to see compared to the X2 Mini now in the full review video and you guys mentioned the Viper Mini, the x 5 M42 and the Gbolt's HDS. Comparing the X2 Mini to the x 5 M42, the X2 Mini is shorter, has way less curves on the sides, the M42 flares out at the front and the back of the mouse much more. And the hump is also quite a bit different, although it's in a similar kind of location as with the M42 and the flatback shell. So looking at the top, the X2 Mini has kind of this oval kind of shape, meaning that the highest point is all the way on the middle and it slopes down quite aggressively to both sides. Whereas the M42 is way more flat, so the hump is wider. And the back of the mouse is overall wider on the M42, as it's quite thin on the X2 Mini. In hand, the M42 just feels quite a lot larger than the X2 Mini. With the Viper Mini, there are a few similarities. They are similar in length and how the hump is positioned. The Viper Mini is just a little bit higher profile which makes it feel longer in hand. The sides are also vertically way more flat on the X2 Mini and there is much more curvature on the sides on the Viper Mini. For those who relax claw or palm grip, the right corner on the Viper Mini where you usually hold your pinky and your ring finger is also way more sharp than on the X2 Mini. And lastly, the back on the Viper Mini is wider than on the X2 Mini. Especially with relax claw and palm grip, the rounded corner makes the X2 Mini feel quite a bit smaller or shorter than the Viper Mini and also the height difference and the front flare make the Viper Mini just feel larger in hand. The Chibul's HDS is a mouse that's in a similar size category as these are pretty much the same length, but the HDS is wider than the X2 Mini. The hump and the back of the mouse are wider on the HDS, which makes it feel larger in hand. And the HDS also feels at least higher profile. There is also way more curvature on the sides on the HDS, so it can feel wider depending on where you grip the mouse from. But by using aggressive claw, these do feel pretty much the same in width. The biggest difference in my opinion is still again the hump feel, where the X2 Mini has this quite thin hump and it hits the middle of your palm mostly. Whereas the Hardy S hump is quite wide and flat so it does hit overall more all over your palm. Pretty much whatever way I claw grip the X2 Mini, the most contact is done with the middle of my palm right here with the hump and then there is of course some contact with these parts and the sides of the mouse. 
For fingertip grip the X2 Mini is actually quite amazing. Because of the 53 grams weight and the lack of curvature on the sides, it feels very easy to control with just your fingers. And as the mouse is quite thin, it feels very comfortable for me with fingertip grip. It even beats the Starlight 12 small for me with it, but not with claw. Overall, the X2 Mini has quite a lot of similarities with many mice, so for example the Hardy S, the Viper Mini, the Zowie S2, the Extra Fire M42 and the Ultralight 2, but it does feel unique in hand and you don't necessarily feel that this is a clone shape in my opinion. Oh and let's not forget that the flat sides and the curvature here is pretty much straight from the Superlight. For me and the way I grip the X2 Mini, the most similar in the feel is going to be the Ultralight 2 or the Starlight 12 Small. Although the hump on the Starlight 12 Small is very very different to the X2 Mini. For my in-game performance, my tracking wasn't the smoothest, but I was still doing very well in callbacks and apex, had no trouble with micro-adjustments, recoil control or any kind of flicks, and in CSGO I was doing very well with my tapping. Precise 1 taps, 2 taps, 3 taps and my sprays were on point as well. I had some issues with consistency though and that comes down to comfort for me and there are a few things with the X2 Mini that I did not enjoy. So let's go through the two things that I would like to change from the X2 Mini to make the shape better for me at least. And one of the biggest issues with this shape and my grip preferences is that if I would grip it the way I would actually want, pretty much my whole palm would be touching the mouse pad. Meaning that it would create a lot of additional friction which I do not want. Let's use the M42 as an example as it's pretty much my favorite favorite shape of all time. So when I grip the M42 exactly the way I would want to, there is about 4 centimeters distance from the back of the mouse to the root of my wrist. And when I grip the mouse like this, the right side of my palm will be touching the mouse pad, but it's a very very light soft touch. Doesn't cause too much of extra friction. There is of course the option that I can rest more of my palm on top of the mouse, which means that the mouse is deeper in my palm, and my fingers are then of course gonna be placed more forward on the mouse, and my pinky and my ring finger will hit this rounded corner right here and I do not like the feel of this corner. It's too rounded and I feel like I can't get much control from it. So because I don't like the front right corner on the X2 Mini, I would have to curl my fingers even more and I do not enjoy that or find it comfortable. One way to fix that would be that they would make the mouse longer or they would make it just a little bit higher profile so it would be longer in hand. This way my ring finger would not necessarily touch the front right corner. And overall the mouse would feel a lot better for me, and it still should be unique enough so it wouldn't be too much like the M42 or the Viper Mini. The shape of the X2 Mini was fun to try out, and I think it can be good for some of you guys who have mostly smaller hands than I do. It can still be good if your hands are the same size as I do or even larger, but you really have to prefer smaller mice. For me the Extra 5 M42 and the Viper Mini are better shapes. I will be receiving the regular X2 to this week and I'm super excited about that one. I think that's more for my hand size than this one. That's pretty much it for this one. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button. If you enjoy my content hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.